Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over the, uh, let's see, month of July's passive income. Um, and that's going to be a combination of basically profits, dividends, options, premiums, and crypto. So with that being said, let's get it. All right. So first one we're going to go over here is the M1 Finance account. So not really much has happened with the M1 Finance account. We'll talk more about M1 Finance and what we plan to do in a future video, but we'll just go over the dividends now. So this goes from July 1st to today, so the 31st. So we're looking at RYLD, $8.56, QYLD, $6.06, PFLT, $0.04. Cents. We do plan on eventually getting back into this one. Uh, SCHD, $0.01, cent, PDI, um, $20.36, NVDY, $86.47. As you guys know, NVDY and NVIDIA are an absolute beast. Uh, the premiums and the dividends on those things are insane. So OARC, $4.60. Keep going down the list here. Um, again, I don't know why these are split into two payments. I have no idea. Uh, maybe it's because it's such a large payout. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it has something to do with the stock split. Again, I don't know. Um, same thing with MPW, as you guys can see up here. Uh, so TSLY, $56.95. Um, again, TSLY, $218.76. Uh, TLTW, $2.28. The thing to point out about TLTW is this is basically an inverse place. So uh, what I'd be looking, and I'll go over this on a later video, but Basically, in short, what I'm looking for in TLTW is for when the Fed cuts rates, the value of the shares of this particular ETF should go up. So basically, the share price should go up as a result of the Fed cutting rates, uh, which is part of the reason why we have this. We have not piled heavily into it, but probably are going to start doing so pretty quick here in the future because it looks like they're about ready to cut rates. So again, here's another split, um, $1.65 from NVDY, $0.01 cent from Philip Morris, um, $0.69 cents from Apley, uh, combined total $5.86 from MPW, Beto, $0.19, cents, um, $0.63 cents Leg and Plaid, and for some reason, another split payment. I don't know what's going on here. So $0.45 cents from Horizon, $0.01 cent from PSEC, $7.62 from RA. $3.14 from USOI, $16.43 from EFC, uh, GSBD $20.45, RYLD $8.54, uh, TWO $16.10, QYLD $6.37. So the total for that comes out to $492.23. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to go over the Weeble platform first. This will be the easiest. So basically uh, we have the dividends right here. So $84.63 from Clip. As you guys know, we got rid of Clip. So $20.63 $20 from OARC, $4.53 from Apley. So that total comes out to $109.79 right here. I can show you guys the um, overall balance here. It's You can see the balance up there, but basically we just have this one position. We're waiting for it to go back up and then we're going to get out of it for break even. That's kind of the plan. But again, we'll go more in depth on that in a future video. So Robin Hood, uh, I'm not going to go into every single one of like the buys and sells and the, you know, the trades that we took to make the profits and stuff like that. You guys can check out the weekly videos that we do on buy, sells and dividends if you wanted to no more information about that, but um, I'll just go over the numbers here. So in terms of profits, we made $8.71 from OPP, $28.29 from RIV, uh, EFC $15.51, that's $15.51. Apply, we took a $19.28 loss here on the M1 Finance account. Basically what we did with that is we uh, went ahead and got out of that. Uh, took the capital, basically went and bought 100 shares of Robinhood, which is the platform that we're using. This is the stock ticker symbol for it. And I'm actually going to go in here and show you guys this. So with the Apple, uh, the shares that we had in Apple on this particular portfolio, we were getting like, I think it was estimated to be about 20, 25 bucks a month of passive income, which is great. I mean, that's fantastic. Can't complain about that, right? So um, got 100 shares 
of Robin Hood, which you need a hundred hundred share lots basically in order to do any cover calls or cash secured puts. So average price twenty one sixteen. But the thing I want to show you guys here is the difference in total payout. So if I were just to go to a relatively conservative delta here, let's say a thirty two. So basically every nine days for these hundred shares, I would get sixty five dollars in premium. So if you times that by two or sorry three because you can get three nine-day periods in a month. Uh, that comes out to $195 in premium. That does not include if the share price goes up, obviously the premium is going to go up. So you guys can see the $195 is greater than the $25 a month. You, you can kind of see what I'm doing here, right? So AMZ, $23 in profit. Um, TSLP, $60.34 in profit. FEPI, uh, $79.27 in profit. Riot, uh, we took a hundred and fifty dollar and forty six cent loss on that, but again, I, I mean, it looked like the market was going to capitulate, so we just got that got the hell out of there. Basically, <laughs> was like, okay, we'll just buy back in at cheaper prices. But it turns out it was a fake out. So uh, even we get faked out with uh, the years and years of experience. So QDTE thirty one dollars and seventy seven cents of profit. Uh, Palantir one hundred and forty eight dollars and forty nine cents. Those shares were called away at a profit. Uh, so that's what that is. Um, Mara, $118, same thing. Uh, YMAG, $123.73. AIPI, $14.58. NVIDIA, $14. XDTE, $16. And SoundHound, $224.48. So that combined total then comes out to $736.43. Now, in terms of the dividends that we got paid, so I'll go over that now. Uh, SPYT, $16.25. YBIT, which is the um, Yield Max Bitcoin ETP, which I believe is based on BITO. Uh, don't quote me on that. $57.44. AMZ, $75.77. Apply, $14.65. Uh, Crash, $43.20. Kony, $311.75. TSLY, $29.88. Squee, $69.79. MRNY, $48.97. MSTY, $277.79. Uh, we've since uh, beefed up our MSTY and NVDY positions. GUI, $46.86. NVDY on this portfolio. $286.60, OARC $15.99, YMAX $168.39, YMAG $147.21, TSLP $24.95, FEPI $108.98, AIPI $75.99, uh, QDTE $118.89, and XDTE $38.99. Uh, I believe that's right. So the total here comes out to $1,975.69. So um, I'm not going to go over all the options plays that we did uh, for the entire month. I will tell you guys right now, the total options premiums that we got paid was $1,698 total when accounting for all of the premiums we got paid plus the amount of money it cost to buy back the contracts at uh, basically when the theta had worn off. But what I will do is I'll go ahead and list out the different plays that we have for this week. So basically from Sunday going up until now. So, and again, we're going to do another buy sales and dividends video this Saturday, but this is from the 28th to the 31st. So I'll just go ahead and tell you guys that right now. Um, and of course you can always go back to the previous uh, weekly videos that we do and, you know, kind of see what's going on with that. So uh, Mara entry date 729 2024 covered call exit date 82 $43 times one contract $10 to close early so we got $31 in premium basically that's when the market had the last three or four days of massive selling we again if you do a covered call and the underlying share price goes down uh, if I'm not mistaken I believe the theta wears off faster so it makes it cheaper to buy the contract back so you can basically buy the contract back for 70, 80, 90% of the total value that you got paid in premium. Um, or you, I should say you only have to buy back for about 10 to 20%. So you get to keep the majority of the premium that you make faster when that happens. So uh, PLTR 730 entry date, cover call, exit date 89, $98 times two contracts. 
Uh, CLSK, 7.30 cover call, 8.30 exit date, $43 times three contracts. Mara, 7.30 cover call, entry date, exit date, 8.9, $38 times two contracts. And then today, uh, Robinhood, 7.31 cover call, exit date, 8.9, that's $83 times one contract. So that's just for the week, but I'm, we're totaling up this $1,700 is actually totaling up the entire month's worth of premium. So that's for an entire month from January or July first to july 31st so the total for the month comes out to five thousand and twelve dollars and twenty and sorry five thousand and twelve dollars and fourteen cents again we have not made a lot of money off crypto this month because crypto has been kind of chopping sideways mostly which again we kind of expected that was going to happen probably until we get to at least after september october time frame then bitcoin theoretically should start to heat up so it's pretty much right around the corner uh, and we have other sources of income that we're not going to talk about on this channel, but uh, in terms of what we actually made, like the things we're showing you and the things we're not showing you, uh, not including the job income for the month is actually probably a little bit closer to about $7,200 for the month. So anyways, um, that's besides the point. So anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.